Good morning. Apologies for the mess at the back. Today's plan is I'm gonna go um, grab some breakfast first because it's half one. I haven't eaten in like 15 hours or something like that. I've got a bunch of hotspots. Hotspots and pins dropped on Google Maps, which is really good. For those that don't know, Google Maps is an amazing, amazing thing where you can drop pins of places you wanna go to, places you've been to, X, Y, and Z, and then you can always look back into and like, hey, oh yeah, I went there like two, three years ago. I know it's gonna be one hell of a hectic day with all sorts of walking and cycling and whatever it is, but someone's gotta do it. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and I'll see you guys wherever I'm about to go to next. There's one place where you can discover the freshest catch in Dubai is the waterfront market in the new Deira Corniche. The waterfront market builds on from the amazing heritage and iconic status of the old Deira fish market, preserving the essence of Dubai's fish trade and freshness of local markets in a modern state-of-the-art facility. Deira fish market has been serving fresh catch and procure to consumers in the UAE since 1958, and the legacy continues with a new 120,000 square meters waterfront market. Long before the waterfront market emerged in Deira, there used to be a fish market located here, close to the meat and spice souk. The decades-old supermarket had pretty much everything that that one would need to sustain a quality lifestyle. From meat and vegetables to spices and clothes, the market was filled to the brim with everyday essentials. In 2017, the waterfront market replaced this long established market and brought with it a whole new set of facilities to reduce waste and boost efficiency. The fishermen can directly load the catch to the market, ensuring absolute freshness. A lot of the seafood you find here is difficult to procure elsewhere in the city. I just asked one of the managers to see if I can come in and he's just giving me the thumbs up. My friend, question. Often you guys clean this place? We just clean the edge so that there will be clean. Okay. Once a day, twice a day, or every day? Every day, every, every day. day. Okay, so I'm speaking to some of the workers here. There's some serious fishing cleaning going on non-stop. Look, would you look at this? Constant operations. It's crazy here. What they're doing over here is they're teaching them how to cut it. So the new people will come here and then they'll teach them how to do it. So for example... They're going to carry on with cleaning, so I think it's time for me to dip. Because they're using like chat washers and stuff over here. I don't even know where you guys can hear that. But some serious cleaning going on. Okay, so you know how I said there's a lot of hygiene and there's a lot of focus spray and there's constant cleaning and stuff going on? There's a TV here behind me with CCTV cameras so that everyone has that trust and transparency of being able to see how their fish is caught, who's caught in it. At the moment, what's going on is the inside of this place where the rest of the fish market is through those doors is closed because every day they have set hours where they do some deep cleaning. Of course, there's lots of people here so trying to make sure that it's safe. Finally, I can breathe again because they're doing deep cleaning for two hours, believe it or not, from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. I can't exactly go inside and record, unfortunately. I'm gonna come back in the evening and capture some more footage. The new waterfront market hosts some of the leading food and beverage outlets retail shops, a multi-purpose hall, and the Lulu hypermarket, which is the equivalent of Walmart as the Tesco 7-Eleven. You get the idea. I'm back in the fish market, and there's one thing for certain, they're definitely selling fish, because this place smells like fish. So I figured out why they clean twice a day. Because the place is open twice a day. Live fish? Let's have a look, let's have a look. Show me, show me, show me the live fish. Oh my days, they are actually alive. What kind of fish? Uh, all life is here. All life? All life. The same sea bass. Sea bass. In the rats never life coming. Give me check. Oh yeah, it's alive still. Rats never. Give me check. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one thing I love about Dubai. No matter where we are, there's always the Azam playing for the court well. The Azam, for those that don't know, is the court of prayer. What kind of fish? Shari, shari. Good one. Shari. What about this? What is this? Shark, shark. Shark. Show me, show me. Wow. That's crazy. These man selling shark out here. I've never been this excited going to a fish market before because some of these fish are mad. Look how big they are. Look at this. This, this is like better than going to Ikea at this point. Okay, so it turns out that this market is actually operating 24-7 in regards to fish coming in and out but for the public to come and buy fish it opens at 4 p.m. and it closes at 2 a.m. These ones are alive. Crazy. How much for one? One? Yeah, how much? 45. 45 dirham, yeah? Yeah. You can get kingfish, hamur, large Omani prawns and some other sustainable options such as jesh, 
Faskar and Shari. Out of 435 stalls selling royal cuts, 43 are of dry fish and 18 of crustaceans and fish which are taken live from the aquarium. It remains one of the renowned markets in the country for fresh food like fish, meat, poultry, fruits, vegetables, dry goods and dates. This shopping experience is enhanced by 770 underground parking spaces and more than 470 outdoor parking spaces along with a designated fish auction area. The waterfront market serves more than 800,000 visitors, tourists and shoppers per month. So you know how it was at that massive kitchen section before where they were cleaning up and stuff? Let me show you how busy it is right now because um yeah it's crazy <laughs> The fish market has been one hell of an experience. I never realized how, ex how exciting going to the fish market could be. Yeah, maybe I should go more to more fish markets from now on. This should a change of genre in what I do. That's that. Thank you very much for watching this video. And as always, tell your mom, tell your auntie, tell your cousins, your dog, your cat, whatever it is. And hang fight until the next video. See you then. Bye.